Okay, well, we have a baby uh, orphaned rainbow lorikeet here, and um, this bird has been presented to me because it has a um, bent neck holding its head round on the side all the time, and we're going to explore what's wrong. This is a little rescued birdie. How long has it had its uh, head over on the side? And um, I noticed it Tuesday. Right, so about four days. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I only picked it up Monday night. Right, okay. All right, here. Well, she'd like to keep the camera on the birdie, and I will uh, think. I'll just see what I can find here. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. That's a good little birdie. That's a good little birdie. That's a good little birdie. Good little birdie. Good little birdie. I'm just looking at the ear canal. I'll just compare the ear canal on the right side. We don't often look at ear canals, but Bertie's just. I can't see any obvious difference between the two of them. Just looking for any wound on the top of the head. I haven't found one of those. Feet looks normal. Nostrils look normal. That's quite your baby. That's quite your baby. No obvious bruising on the back of the neck. That's quietly. That's quietly. Alright. Well, the um, paws of the head being uh, twisted is not obvious. Um, it usually comes from the um, from a brain injury. The brain is at this stage growing very very quickly and is likely to compensate given a bit of help. And I think that's what we should try and do. Um, try and increase the number of stem cells in the circulation. So uh, that'll be my approach um, the bird's in good body condition otherwise. So what I'll do is give you some powder that might contain products that um, might increase the number of stem cells in the circulation. I've got a suspicion that that happens but I cannot prove it and cannot claim it. So we'll see what happens. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Stop. <laughs>